Assalamun alaikum, what's happening y'all? It's a beautiful windy night here in Karbala and uh, you know me, I'm super excited, super hyped for tonight's episode and I'd like to welcome you to episode 12 of hashtag LNT with the one and only, you know me, they'll have to introduce myself, no I don't, my name is Ahmed Ali and tonight is a special episode so you guys better stay tuned because you're going to think twice after this episode but before that, let's go and check what's popping in today's world. Let's go. Welcome back, dear viewers. Uh, now, you guys uh, have probably downloaded uh, this app called Telegram on your phones. If you didn't, you probably heard of it. But Telegram uh, sent a message to me as well as the 200 million. Uh, 200 million, yeah, they put the cash money, but anyways, yeah, Telegram. Uh, now, they've sent uh, a message to me as well as 200 million uh, active users for its, uh, uh, on, on a new milestone that they've reached. Uh, 200 million active users in a month. Uh, now, they've sent this message as well with it. Thank you for spreading the word, and inshallah, everyone can spread that word. Uh, you know, the good word, of course, you know, you can probably uh, go on there. It's, it's a pretty nice app uh, for, for messaging and stuff, uh, private cut chats and stuff. Anyways, yeah, we don't want to give too much detail. Uh, but what else is trending? Luxury private jets have been the thing for the past decade or so. But now, you know, rich people, they've taken it up a notch where, uh, you know, now they have um, the new trend is the private helicopter I mean that's just next level see right there the private helicopter you can probably you know they be driving in that or flying in that while uh, we're driving in uh, and be, be stuck in uh, in traffic but these guys are too rich they don't know how to spend their money but anyways tonight's topic these two are also related to tonight's topic so don't go away because we're gonna go into a 10 second break and be back very, very, very short. Do stay tuned. Now, without a doubt, money is nearly everything nowadays. It's safe to say that money rules and controls the world. Sad or happy, but it's true. If you take a look at what we all do for money, we have to wake up early in the morning, uh, you know, or some of us have to, you know, stay up all night. Uh, you know, we don't get to chill with our friends or you don't get to hang out with your friends a lot. Uh, you know, uh, dealing with that horrible boss. Uh, the Horrible Boss is a pretty good movie. I mean, you guys uh, should go watch it. But uh, dealing with that horrible boss that gets on your last nerve. But at the end of the day, you can't complain because you need to have that. That, at the, at the end of each month, is going to bring you that cold, hard cash. And depending on your paycheck, you know, you get to spend it however you like. Now, money, cash, dough, Benjamins, flus in Iraqi, prud in Persian, uh, euro. You know, we have money, cash, dough, uh, Benjamins, flus, pounds, euros, uh, dinero. All of that brings happiness to me and everyone. And you know, just saying those words makes people happy from the inside and especially me. But for some, money buys everything. And for some, it doesn't. They argue that with money, you can buy a house, but not a home. With money, you can buy a bed, but not sleep. With money, you can buy a book, but not knowledge. With money, you can buy a hospital, but not health. With money, you can buy a position, but not respect. And with money, you can buy blood, but not life. And most importantly, with money, you can buy pleasure, but not love. And, actually, and that's actually true. Because honestly, love can't be bought. It's felt. And it's felt in here and then somewhere else. Uh, but you know, uh, I'm kidding. Uh, we don't want to get into that. Uh, but anyways, money can't be bought that sort of love can't be bought and uh you know especially th 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 there has to be mutual love uh, you know i feel like a marriage counselor right now if you need any marriage counseling you know 
hit your boy up, Ahmed Ali, real quick. Uh, I don't want to give my phone up uh, right now, but you know, do hit us up. Anyhow, let's shift gears a little bit. Every human in this world wants happiness. That's undoubtedly humankind's number one priority. If we don't have happiness, then how else are we going to enjoy this life, right? I mean, I know some of the viewers right now, yes, we've gone through situations, depressions, uh, sad, uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, for me, I speak about myself, you know. Yes, sometimes we go through depression and sadness, but, you know, they always says there's a gold pot after the rainbow, um, so, or after the rainfall, whatever. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that, yes, we go through, and I know uh, some of the viewers are going through depression or are going through a situation and probably think, why do I have to go through this? But we always have to overcome that. And as the saying goes, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Now, whether, whether you believe that money buys everything or there's a price for something, that's something else. But most importantly for tonight, we're trying to find out does money buy happiness? And that's tonight's question for you guys. You guys have to think about that. Does money buy happiness? So call in right now at the number shown below or shown right there. A plus 964 774 067 1836. I have that number memorized in the back of my head. But what we're trying to say is does money buy happiness? Now you can send us a. Um, a voice note on WhatsApp uh, or on uh, yeah on it on on WhatsApp at that number shown right now, and let us know what you guys think about tonight's question. Cause honestly, we have seven point something billion people watching us. Even Jimmy Kimmel don't have that number. Jimmy Fallon doesn't have that number. You know, only hashtag LNT. Cause you know, you're with the one and only Ahmed Ali. And honestly, tonight is an is, is a nice night. A few. Uh, days ago was uh, the International Day of Happiness. That's why you know we're a bit late. So a happy belated International Happy Day. Uh, but so we're trying to find out: Does money buy happiness? We're going to a very short break. Let me drink some water. Be back very short. Yes. Now. We are live in the holy city of Karbala. Uh, and, and as I mentioned, it's a beautiful, windy night here in Karbala. Uh, you know, uh, so let's remind viewers of the question and the number. So does money buy happiness? For me, I believe it does, but you know, people can differ. People can differ on this. Now, does money buy happiness? And the number to call is plus 964-774-067. 1836 yes now that's tonight's question and hopefully everyone can call in tonight because honestly there's not a certain there's not one person in the world today that does not earn uh, money or does not earn some sort of income um, now tonight is the question or the, the question for tonight does money buy happiness now one of the things that we, uh, we, we are getting a few phone calls, uh, but hopefully we can get them through ASAP. Now, for me, I'd like to talk about statistics, because you know, when you're talking about money, you have to talk about statistics. Without statistics, you're gonna start be losing money. But, let's make one thing clear. Money is very, 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 I'm gonna run out of varies, until I say it's a very important thing in our life today. But happiness is also very, 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 very important thing in our life as well. But we do have a call. Uh, so, but we do have a call from Shahbaz from London. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Uh, welcome to tonight's episode of hashtag LNT episode 12. And tonight's question Does money buy happiness? What do you think? Yes, Salaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salaam Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Now, welcome to hashtag Al and tonight's question is Does money buy Alhamdulillah, happiness? Alhamdulillah, not too bad. Um, based on tonight's subject, yes. which is obviously Does money buy happiness? Yes. 
Uh, I just wanted to put in a few points of my own um, where I heard your poem earlier on, really nice and sweet, where money can buy you a bed but not sleep, etc. Yeah. Um, uh, however, I've, you know, money can buy a bubbled happiness, if you know what I mean. You can buy a nice car, you can live in a nice house and all those kind of things. But you see a lot of famous and rich and celebrities and stuff like that. They, you know, they commit suicide, whatever. They're rich, but they're not necessarily happy. So there's uh -huh. two sides to the coin. Yes. Now, which side are you on? Are you flipping a coin? Are you on the happy side or are you on... Well, heads uh, or tails, depends which day of the week it is. But I'm just <laughs> presenting that there's two sides to the story yeah, where yeah, yeah. you can live a lavish life and yeah. have an enjoyable thing and show up to the world that, you know, we're rich, we're happy. Um, but then there's the side where with money comes grief as well. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Shabazz, uh, for letting us know uh, of the two things and, and, and the bubble of happiness or the bubble... Uh, of uh, wealth that brings happiness. Thank you very much for joining us tonight uh, on hashtag LNT. Uh, now, uh, before uh, we had Brother Shabazz from London who just called in, uh, we were saying that money is important and it's very important. Um, and sometimes we can differ, uh, but it's on the same level of happiness. Um, a lot of people do think of the idea that money does buy happiness. And if you're on that line, let us know why. And if you're of the opinion that says no, money does not buy happiness, money buys different things, then also let us know. Uh, we have Brother Shabazz that also said uh, that uh, we, all, we always see rich celebrities that uh, have suicidal uh, ideas or suicidal uh, thoughts. Uh, and we also see depression in their lives as well. Now, what does this prove? We'll get to talk about it in a bit. But does one depend on the other does happiness depend on money or does money depend on happiness what if you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you both and inshallah alhamdulillah if, if he has granted you both that's amazing but what if god is testing you and he's t and he hasn't given you both he hasn't given you neither what would you do you should go kill yourself no no astaghfirullah no we don't want to say that our life is always haram in islam you know we don't want to get into that astaghfirullah i'm kidding uh, you know, a lot of people do go through difficult times. Uh, and, you know, we're just cracking jokes uh, just to make you, uh, you know, uh, feel good. But, and happy, of course, because, you know, hashtag LNT brings happiness. And the logo right there, the logo right there brings happiness to your life. You know why? Because it's hashtag LNT. I don't have another reason. But it's hashtag LNT. Yeah. Now, uh, who, you know, when, 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 when you're rich, you have that nice house uh, in the best area of the city. Uh, you have a nice Bugatti, which is which you just woke up in, uh, you know, and you go tell your friends, I woke up in the new Bugatti uh, in, in Iraq, like I woke up in the new Harabana. That's that's another synonym uh, for, <laughs> for for Bugatti, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you were to wake up in that, you're just happy, you know. I'm just happy looking at that, you know, Bugatti Veyron. Uh, not saying I'm a materialistic individual, but you know. Uh, I admire, uh, well, I admire cars, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a car fanatic. But anyways, while I was explaining that rich guy's life, um, that rich man's life, I bet you guys were thinking or were you, you were imagining a guy six foot, uh, you know, muscles ripped, uh, you know, uh, nice hair. Uh, but if I was to tell you, um, like this guy right there, uh, Chris Evans, you know, if you, you know, he is pretty handsome. No homo. I was, I, you know, I, I, I was saying uh, that, you know, I, I was telling you what you were imagining. Uh, so don't go, you know, I'm, I'm not that, you know. Anyways, yeah. But if I was to tell you that it wasn't that individual that I was talking about, I was talking about this individual that's going to show up in a few seconds. That right there, a disabled individual. Would you change your mind? Would that change your mind? I'm asking you right there. I'm asking you right there. Did you change your mind? Did you reconsider? No? Yeah? Or you reconsidered when you saw him? You know, when you think, you know, when you say no, you're thinking of the well, then Chris Evans' uh, nice looks. 
But don't reconsider. Oh yeah, do reconsider, cause you know, do reconsider, cause individuals who are in that situation are thanking Allah for that situation. So you have to thank Him as well. Anyways, let's check Will, Will Smith's video when he's talking about what was he talking about? Let's go. Me and Jada was reflecting about love. And I asked her, I said, what did she think was, you know, one of the biggest revelations that she had had about love? She said that you cannot make a person happy. And I thought that was a real deep idea. You can make a person smile. You can make a person feel good. You can make a person laugh. But whether or not a person is happy is deeply and totally and utterly out of your yeah thank you very much uh yeah i mean will smith's uh he, he was saying right there uh he, he was saying really uh, someone can't really buy uh happiness or can't really make the other individual happy but unless that individual makes himself happy anyways um let's go take a very short break and we'll be back very very shortly Welcome back, dear viewers, and we just got an audio message from Batul from the USA. What does Batul say? <clears throat> uh, that's actually a very good point. You know, she, she, she was making very valid points right there. Yes. Yes, thank you very much for joining us. I'm yeah. Batul from the USA. Um, with tonight's question, uh, I'd like to say that with the world that we're living in today, or now, um, that money is more, or money is important because money buys you a house, money buys you a car, money gets you into school, um, money buys you clothes, buys you what you want. So, yeah, and even in the Quran it says, and God put money before kids. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Batul from the USA, for joining us tonight. Uh, very valid points you made right there uh, and as well as you mentioned right there does it is mentioned in the quran uh, and you know we're talking about um, wealth and does wealth uh, bring or does money buy happiness but there's a quick video uh, that we should also uh, play right now let's go check out that video which talks about uh, tonight's uh, so this video they're talking to me to you know say stuff about it so they can you know, get it to play. Yeah. I'll buy you guys some time. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. When asked ahead. what surprised him most about humanity, the Dalai Lama answered, we sacrifice our health in order to make wealth. Then we sacrifice our wealth in order to get back our health. We're so anxious about what will happen in the future that we don't enjoy the present. The result being, we don't live in the present or the future. We end up living feeling like we're never going to die and then die never having truly lived. Ellen Goodman said normal is getting dressed in clothes that you buy for work and driving through traffic in a car that you're still paying for in order to get to the job that you need to pay for the clothes and car and the home that's empty all day just so you can afford to live in it. We live in a world where daydreams are more common than dream jobs, where money clouds our search for meaning, in search for profit. We sacrifice our quest for purpose and in the pursuit of those paychecks. Thank you very much. That was actually, um, you know, that, that, that was a very nice video um, that we just, uh, that you guys just watched right now. Uh, so it's basically saying that we spend our health just for our wealth and then we end up spending our wealth uh, for our health. But we do have a, a message we just received on our WhatsApp, uh, a text message from Mushtaba from Iraq. It says, money does buy happiness. If we removed poverty from this world, everyone would be happy. Um, I agree with you uh, 100%. Um, and, and in that case, money does buy happiness. Uh, and thank you very much, Mushtaba, for, for letting us know your opinion for tonight. Uh, and uh, we do apologize for the uh, noise in the background. I think they're uh, playing some music in the background. Uh, anyways, but let's remind everyone uh, of the question and the phone number to call in uh, right now. 
so the question is, does money buy happiness? And you can call us via WhatsApp at plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six. You can also, uh, yeah, where are you callers at? What are you guys doing? If you guys want money, call the show. You'll be rich. You know, I'll do dua and Abul Fadl Abbas. Uh, you know, when, <laughs> yeah, we we just had we just received an audio message uh, from you guys. Don't forget to call. Zainab from Iran. What does Zainab say? Hi, Salam Alaikum. My name is Zainab. I'm from Qom. I personally believe the happiness does not have a price and therefore cannot be bought. Happiness can be achieved without spending a cent. Thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. And yes, um, happiness can be achieved uh, without spending a penny or a cent. Uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Now, uh, I'd like to share uh, an article that I found uh, written by Trent Ham uh, from simplerdollar.com. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought to share it with you guys tonight because, you know, uh, I'd like to, you know, I, I like to bring happiness to your life. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to skip the break and go through, uh, straight to the article. Thank you very much, uh, the co-producer. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to share this with you guys tonight. Now, he lists several things uh, that he found are more worthier, uh, are more worthy than money. Uh, and th they're not in order of preference. We're just going to mention them. Now, first, he mentions wisdom. And he says the big one, uh, the, the, the one big thing that differentiates us between uh, that differentiates us and animals morality intellect and hey as the new saying goes smart is the new sexy you know what I mean yeah wisdom is also important as well you know don't get me wrong you know you look smart and you act smart as well but second friendship we all that have we all have uh, at least a couple of friends uh, that uh, you know, we that have our backs during tough times. Uh, you know, I have, I have a few very loyal friends. Uh, shout out to them. They know who they are. Uh, you know, uh, uh, that people wouldn't sell them for a million. But you know, uh, if, if there was a million dollars, I know what I do. You know, would I sell you guys or would I not? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to uh, we'll get to see when. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You guys are my family. You guys are my familia. Uh, the 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 LNT family. Remember that big family I was talking about uh, a few days ago. Yeah, you guys are the me familia of the late night talk. So don't you know you know, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't sell you for a million dollars. Ten million maybe, ten million maybe, but million now. Uh, but we just got a uh, a message on WhatsApp. Uh, what is that message saying? And where is it from? Uh, Tim from the USA says, money brings some happiness, but the source of happiness comes from within the heart and can't be bought. You know, as I mentioned earlier, money can buy you pleasure, but it can't buy you love. And as Will Smith, he says, love, love, we're talking about love, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so we were talking about uh, Trent Ham's article. Uh, before that message, thank you very much, uh, Tim from the USA. Um, now, uh, we were talking about this first. He says uh, it's wisdom, second, friendship, and third, spirituality. Now, according to him, uh, reading, contemplation, meditation, and prayer can bring an incredible amount of calm, peace, and joy that can be difficult to be found um, in other uh, avenues, and it's impossible uh, to find with money. Now, if we were to, you know, we have Shabazz uh, from, from London who called us earlier uh, and, and mentioned that, you know, when, when, when we look at uh, celebrities, uh, you know, simple as rappers, you find from Biggie uh, to Drizzy um, and, and you find from, you know, Easy e to Future uh, and the rappers in between. I don't need to mention their names. I don't, you know, I don't want to sound like I listen to music, which I don't. Al haram, astaghfirullah. Uh, you know, but, but what I'm saying is that even these, which I don't know anything about, I'm kidding, you guys can go watch the documentaries or the movies, uh, you know, and, and you'll find them. Um, the, the, although they were wealthy, yet they had suicidal thoughts. Um, they went through deep depression uh, where some even, I don't want to mention all, all the names, you know, where some actually tried to commit suicide. So it's not only suicidal thoughts, but no, no, no they tried to commit suicides. Uh, you know, while they're intoxicated or uh, normal as well. But the fourth um, uh, point that he mentions 
uh, Trent mentions, uh, in which is, in, in my opinion, is, is the most crucial, is health. Both physical and mental health. Looking back at the story of the rich guy that we mentioned earlier, um, you know, which uh, he, he looked uh, health and status, uh, but the tables turned and uh, he started uh, envying you for, for your health. You know, um, I, I, I've been through this where I've seen, you know, I, I've been to a clinic uh, where I've seen uh, someone that's um, sick, paralyzed, uh, and honestly, he was telling the doctor, this, this was at McMaster um, Hospital in, in, in Hamilton, uh, where, you know, shout out to Hamilton, uh, and all my bros over there. But yeah, um, now, this person was in the hospital, and he was telling um, his, his family members, he was saying, I would give all my wealth just to get back my health. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he, he was looking at the people who could walk, uh, who could live life normally and he envied them um, and honestly that makes me feel uh, ashamed that I haven't done some of the things uh, that are required uh, of me to do now all in all my dear viewers money brings happiness to some extent but not to a hundred not to a hundred percent but let's get that money falling from the sky right now you know so we can you know oh look at that catch the you know, it's, it's going to flood IHTV studio, you know, they need that. Uh, it's it's, it's going to flood the studio. But, you know, yeah, my salary is coming from those bills uh, falling into the studio uh, right now. Uh, but, yes, we are getting a few phone calls uh, coming in. We, we have a couple of minutes left, uh, about four minutes left to the show. Uh, but, yes, uh, going back to what I was saying earlier, uh, money does buy happiness to a certain extent, uh, and sometimes... It doesn't, not to 100%, to a certain extent. Uh, now, we, we, I, I, when, when we do think about uh, what uh, happened, uh, we, yeah, we we're having a few call, phone calls coming in. Uh, but if we were to look at uh, how many individuals out there who uh, go through Down syndrome or have Down, Down syndrome, who are paralyzed, who have an illness, uh, and honestly, one of the most important points is when you see such individuals, um, is to always pray for them and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that um, we're not in that situation and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heal them ASAP. Uh, but uh, we do have a phone call uh, coming in from Mustafa from the USA. Salamun alaikum. Salamun alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to hashtag Al and tonight's question is does money buy happiness? What do you think? Yeah, I'm here. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to hashtag Al and And tonight's question is does money buy happiness? What do you think? Yeah, can you hear me from, from the, the, the phone, not from the... Yeah. Hello? Yes, brother, can you hear me from... All right, the call uh, was disconnected. Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, tonight. We do have two minutes left uh, till the end of the show. Before that, I was saying, um, you know, we, we always see disabled individuals uh, or um, we, we, we always see uh, individuals with, with, with Down syndrome. Uh, and the best thing to do uh, is to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to heal them and thank Allah that we're not in that situation and we're not for health. That by itself, that by itself should make us happy. Because honestly, uh, you know, health isn't gained by, 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 by money uh, in, in a way. For me, I, I, I think that money does buy happiness, don't get me wrong. But not always. You know, sometimes um, a person can be depressed, yet he's rich, uh, as we had a few calls and a few, a few stats uh, that I mentioned. Um, but at the same time, as I mentioned earlier, uh, at the same time, um, we do have a phone call, uh, inshallah. 
so we do have a call from uh, Muhammad Musawi from the USA. Salamu alaikum. Welcome to Hashtag LNT uh, episode 12. And tonight's question, does money buy happiness? What do you think? Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. You know, I think um, ultimately, yeah, anyone that gets a good sum of money will be happy. But I believe money should be a means, not an end. You know mm. what I'm saying? I do know what, he, what you're saying. Elaborate on that. Yeah, it means not an end. Um, but for anybody that does claim that money does not buy happiness, I think that's a preposterous statement, to be fair with you. Because if money doesn't really buy happiness, they can please please uh, you know, deposit all that into my bank account. I don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Send me the, the, the mullahs, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, brother uh, Muhammad Al Musawi no uh, from the USA for joining us tonight. Uh, lastly, uh, I would uh, like all of you. I would like to thank all of you uh, for watching us tonight, uh, and hopefully Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala sends us some of that mula because we are in need of that dough, of that cash, of that flus in Iraqi, uh, of that pool in Persian, and you know that dinero in uh, in some language. I think that's like Portuguese or Spanish. But thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Uh, a big shout out uh, to the guys that are helping us out uh, and um, that are uh, helping us from the cameraman, Mustafa Nadir, to Ali Maytham, to Sarmad Al Husseini, uh, the director, to co producer, Ali Jasim, Samar, uh, Hussein, uh, the sound engineer, Hussein, uh, we have Mushtaba, uh, graphics designer, uh, we have uh, Hussein, playback, uh, and did I forget anyone else? I don't think I've I'm good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But thank you very much. Uh, adios, amigos. Left to right.